an end of an era as of March 27th, 2023 at 5 p.m. Pacific time. It's no longer possible to make purchases of Nintendo eShop on the Wii U system. What a sad, <laughs> sad day. And Wii U is one of my favorite systems. I have one. It's hacked. It's amazing. Here's just a quick shot of what mine looks like. Tons of games. You can even emulate on it. It's a cool little device. Back in the day, you used to be able to get them on GameStop for around $90 with the gamepad. And uh, the experience is great because it's right on the home screen. You know, there's not a lot of messing around. The controls are great. And so in this video, I'm going to revisit my hacked Wii. I bought a brand new one on eBay. Uh, I updated it to the latest operating system the 5.5.6 i want to say the, the highest one they have out there and i want to hack it right so anybody watching this no matter what version you're running you should be able to hack yours and uh let's go through the process and show you how you can get one and you can add games to it. and it's, it's still to this day and will be in the future an awesome system to have especially if you can get them for fairly cheap and uh this one in particular i just bought the system without the gamepad and i use my old gamepad to pair with it and so I'm into this $20. The system cost me $20 for 8 gigabyte Wii U on eBay. So as you saw there, I have Breath of the Wild, all the Marios, Mario Kart, Mario Party. I have Retro Arch on there so I can play emulators on it. It's pretty sweet. And then this last screen you're showing me, I just have to brag that my son and I got all the star coins in Super Mario Bros. Wii U. So first thing I went into settings and then once you're in settings in the upper right corner you can see what version you're on. I'm on 5.5.6, the most recent version. But again, this video will work for all versions from this in, depending on how old your system is. So um, you shouldn't have to worry. Any version, you should be good to go uh, on this. Now, and always disclaimer, you could brick your system. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you follow the directions perfectly. And uh, if you want, just go buy a new console. These are so cheap. Um, you know, just have a separate one to hack and play around with. And if you have a primary one with all your things on it, you can keep that one separate. Now, as far as what you're gonna need for this, um, you may or may not need a Wii U gamepad. You might be able to get away with this with a different controller. The thing about the Wii U gamepad is, for example, you can't get into settings without this pad. So if you need to connect to the internet or something like that, you're gonna have some issues. So you might need this, you're gonna need your Wii console. The ports we're gonna be using on the Wii console is if you flip this open, this is where, where we'll be transferring our uh, programs on. So I have one SD card. Mine's actually a micro SD adapter, but whatever, you, it just needs to be a full full SD card. We're gonna have the full size go into there. And then uh, you'll need a USB flash drive. I, again, have a micro SD card that works as a USB, but you could just have like, if you've seen the little sticks that look like this that have memory on them, you can just use that. Uh, or you can use something like this. All right, first thing to do is download everything you need. You got Terami Super Cafe, you got the SIG Patches module, so I got it there already downloaded. Those two files there, <clears throat> you need to start. The other thing I would download is the Homebrew App Store and then the GUI formatter to get your SD cards to FAT32. Those are the only required ones. The other ones are just nice to have. They help save your data, organize things, but they're not necessary for this tutorial. So first stop is to format your SD card, open the GUI formatter.exe. It should look something like this. Make sure you're on the right drive. See, right there, it got my solid state hard drive. No, I need my E drive, which is my SD card. Make sure it's the right drive. You don't format the wrong drive there. Otherwise, you're going to be really upset. Um, the allocation unit size should be fine uh, for whatever you have. Um, it should default. Uh, if not, you could try a different unit size. Just make sure you have the full 60 gigabytes or whatever your size is at the end. I called mine SD card, you can call it anything you want, as long as it's not Wii U, quick format is fine, and go ahead and press start. I didn't, I'm not gonna do mine right now because I already did it, it's currently in FAT32. You can always check that by right clicking properties, and it will tell you right there, look, file system FAT32. Tiramisu is gonna be environmental loader. All right, now I have insert the Wii U disc card into the PC, so that's gonna just be my SD card here, um, not the USB drive. Extract and copy the contents of the tiramisu.zip. So here we go. This is what we need. And here's what's inside. I'm just going to right click, show more options. I use 7-zip, extract to its own folder. All right. So here are the two files that come out of it when you uh, unzip it or open it. And we're going to go ahead and copy that to the newly downloaded into the root of the SD card. So let's go ahead and copy this. And here's your SD card. And we paste it in there. 
All right, we're also going to copy the 01 sig patches dot rx um, p rpx, which was in here as well. There you go. Let's go ahead and copy that. Go back to our go back to our SD card. Copy that in. Click here to show the final stuff. So there you go. We got the Wii U. Uh, inside the Wii U, you're going to have your um, apps. As you see here, apps, environments, and payloads. Take the SD card out of your computer and plug it into your Wii U. Launch the internet browser and navigate to the website. Click on run exploit and hold the B button. All right. All right, now, now we go to the internet browser. And when you're in the internet browser, you need to type in a URL. You need to go to a website through your Wii U. You do need to be connected to the internet for this. And you need to make sure that SD card is in your Wii U. All right, let's go to enter URL all the way at the top of your screen here. There's enter URL. All right, Wii U exploit dot X Y Z and okay. There it is. Let's go ahead and run it. And you can actually see it on your big screen now. And go to the installer here. You can just click it on your A is choose. Okay. So we just chose it. A on your controller. All right. Yes, you can already check. All right, so we can be installed. Let's go ahead and install. And then make sure you go down one to install. All right, press A to shut down the console. Let's turn it back on now. All right, for the next step, we want to set it up so every time we start our Wii up, it'll be in Teramisu and be able to install stuff, everything else, just be automatically in that. Uh, process. So, in order to do that, you got to hold down the health and safety app. Health and safety is going to have a big exclamation mark on it. Hopefully, you've clicked it and then hold X. Okay, cool. And then we want to go ahead and go to installer again with A. And then we want to go to check. Okay. Boot options. Switch to payloader. All right, there we go. So at this point, you will want the latest homebrew apps. Let's go ahead and get the Wii U extract to sd.zip, which is the homebrew app store. This will allow you to get the bootloader and other things you might need. Now, um, here I have it on my uh, hard drive. I went ahead and right clicked it and extract it. Right click, show more options, 7-zip extract it. So when you open it, you're left with a Wii U folder and there's apps and the app store. And then there's your files you need. Right, so I've already done that. Here it is extracted, right here. So I'm just gonna copy this Wii U folder, go to my SD card, and paste it in my Wii U folder, okay? Next thing you wanna do is if you actually want some games, follow my other video on this. There's a whole video, but there's something called the Wii U USB helper, and you can find all kinds of games on here. So if you wanted Super Mario uh, U, for example, you have it right here and you can click it, and then you just right click, you go download, you could download the games. It'll then be downloaded to wherever you have your um, download directory set to. And what you wanna do then is create a new folder in your SD card, title it install, I've already done that, and then you just drop the whole, um, the whole file in there. So I had a uh, new Super Mario Bros. U, you'd actually wanna put it here, the whole entire folder with all the files in it and then uh, your Wii U will then be able to install it using those files onto either a USB drive or the, the NAND, the hard drive built into your uh, Wii U. So now let's turn it on and we should be all set to go. Let me go ahead and put this in there. You've connected to USBs that has not been set up to use for this console. So go ahead and press format. And um, this is gonna set up my external, basically this is an external hard drive now that I just added. This is not the SD card we were using earlier. This is a separate um, USB that I just put in here. It's a little USB flash drive uh, or a USB adapter going to a micro SD card. You could do anything you want though. You could just do a flash drive, whatever. So that's gonna get that already. They just rebooted. Let's go ahead and go to 
right, so it loads into tiramisu. We want that, and then we're good there. A continue. Don't show me this again, actually, it'd be even better. And let's go to the homebrew launcher, and we should have the app store now. There we go. We got our app store. Let's load it up. And the main thing I'm interested in is the uh, the installer. So I can drag the ROMs onto this device and then install them onto a USB. All right. Even got a little music here. So there you go. The WP installer is the main. So here, make sure you do a search for the WP install. There's a few different versions. One that says Aroma. Don't get the one that says Aroma. And then go ahead and download it and then open it up. So now when we load it, you should have something like this. And you install the game. Install. Then it'll ask you, are you sure you want it? Yes. And then where do you want it? So this is why we put in the USB because your NAND only has so much space on it. By putting a USB drive, you get a lot more space. You basically are adding your own external drive. So USB, and then this process takes a long time depending on how big that file is. Um, it takes a little bit of time to install. There it goes, rebooted the first time. And then this is a one, gigabyte file and there you go it's going to take about you know i don't know three four minutes but some files like breath of the wild and stuff like that are much bigger or if you get this new yes or if you get the new super mario bros u with the old one it's even bigger it says you are now successfully done press ok and it should be now on the home screen All right, once you're all done here, you can hit the home button to go back home to your Wii U menu or back to your homebrew launcher, press home again. And we should be at our Me Maker, but we can go home again. Let's press close, close software. And we should now have a Mario on our home screen. Hey, look at that. There it is right there. And, uh, all right, so there you have it. Really basic way to get Wii U games on your Wii U. Like I said, it's a cool little system, and I really like the ecosystem. Once it's hacked, it's really user friendly. You anybody can come over, and you can still use it like a normal system. You can still use all the different controllers for it, and it works great. <laughs> I hope this was a helpful tutorial. There's so much more you can do with this. People really trick these things out, but this is the most basic functionality of it. And with some games like Metroid and Mario Party, Cost. 30 40 $50 used, and those prices are going to continue to go up. If you just want to play the game, this is a great way to do it. So I hope you enjoy this. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one.